Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Today we have a question from one of our YouTube subscribers. Let's do a quick analysis and see how we go about solving this one. To send your own questions, please consider subscribing our channel. All right, the analysis goes something like this. So we're given a point 2 and 3, x is equal to 2 and y equal to 3. We're going to draw the terminal side of this angle going counterclockwise. This is the theta. Now, of the six trig functions, what you really need to know is the first two, sine and cosine. And here's the reason. If you are sitting in this little corner where the theta is, opposite over the hypotenuse is the sine, and adjacent over hypotenuse gives you the cosine. Now, rest of the four is really based on the first two. For example, tangent is just the first two dividing. Cotangent is the one over the tangent. Secant and cosecant is even easier. Secant, if it starts with a C, it's one over sine, starts with the S. If it's a secant, it starts with the S, then it's one over cosine. So rest the stuff from here is pretty easy, knowing the definition of the sine and cosine. So let's write this up. All right, let's create some space and write this up. All right, so here's the solution where well, all we did is graph this point two and three. R is the hypotenuse is using Pythagorean theorem as radical square roots of 13. Sine theta by definition is opposite over hypotenuse or Y value divided by the R. Uh, we have 3 over square roots of 13. If I rationalize the denominator, I have 3 times radical 13 over 13. Cosine theta is 2, and that's the adjacent over the rad radius or the hypotenuse. Same similar procedure give you this. Now, of those two that you do need to memorize, the rest are 4. It's real easy, and that's why they're outside of this box. The cosecant is 1 over sine. If it starts with a C, then it's S over here. We're just going to do reciprocal and similar over here. If it's a secant, it's a 1 over cosine. It's inverse of cosine theta. If you divide a sine theta and a cosine theta, you have a tangent. And 1 over tangent gives you the cotangent. There gives you the six trigonomical, trigonometrical functions. All right. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment, share, or like this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.